Hey, what's up? David here. Welcome back to your daily dose of life skilling. Today, I'm going to be updating a milk farming video. It's going to be a discussion. You already know how to farm. It's really basic. And if you don't, then I have plenty of videos on that. So just go back, type in like farming on BDO YouTube or something. Back when I first made my milk video on how to farm cows and stuff, it was it was a huge hit. It I think I think I have like 30,000 views on it or something along those lines. And I figured I would just go back and make another update updated guide on it because Manos came out and Manos when it comes to milking cows with the mini game gathering got a buff so I want to touch on that aspect and hopefully you enjoy the video. Just before I get into the video if you do enjoy the content so far leave a like subscribe to the channel turn on that notification bell also let me know in the comment section down below if you are currently farming milk or you're doing the milk mini game. Alright so first question David do you do the mini milk game or do you farm cows? Of course, the answer is right in front of you. I The biggest reason why I farm cows is because it's just easier for me and I like using my energy on um, gathering and stuff and I don't really like using my energy on the milk game considering I do quite a bit of cooking. Thus, I get quite a few byproducts for milk and then also I do have a thousand energy so it's kind of, you know, I'd rather spend that thousand energy on gathering, you know what I mean? Because come on, let's be real boys. Life skilling God, I have to have over a thousand energy. Like imagine being a pleb with 600 energy, but for real boys get on the train what are you guys doing a thousand energy please i was talking in the discord i asked some of the boys what their opinion was on farming and the mini milk game and it seems that for those people that actually tested out the mini uh the mini milk game they were getting about six milk for one energy that seemed to be the ratio and that's what i calculated to be and then when i was comparing it to the um to the milk farming it seems that i was getting about 36 milk for one energy of course they didn't factor in the mastery and when i was talking to a couple other people in the discord about mastery impact and gathering because technically when you're milk farming or sorry technically when you're milk mini gaming the gathering comes into play and there was a little bit of a discrepancy because there was some numbers that didn't really make sense. I had a couple people tell me that they gathered X amount of milk for X amount of energy and that came out to six milk per one energy. But then I had a couple other people come along and tell me that they were getting for every 10 energy, they were getting about 35 milk. It confused me a little bit because the difference in numbers is quite large because if you take six milk for one energy, then you're looking at 60 milk for 10 energy. Whereas somebody that was factoring in their mastery, they were only getting 35 milk on average for 10 energy. So some people are getting at least double and again, this may be because their mastery is a little higher. I've never done the mini milk game, so I can't actually test and I don't have mastery gear. So it's not like I can really give an input on it. But if you could let me know in the comment section down below, if you have any thoughts or any data to back up what kind of milk you're getting from the mini milk game, that would be awesome because this way I could get a more solid number in which would be better, either farming for milk or doing the mini milk game. If you desperately need milk, I think the mini game is is great if you have a ton of alts and you don't like gathering anything else and uh, for some reason milk is the thing you like gathering then i think you could put a couple alts in Olvia and you could go to town on farming milk which is fine that's cool but I think if you pr value your energy for you know let's say cooking meals then it would make more sense to use those alts and just put them out at a meat gathering location or whatever and just use that energy there normally what I do when farming for milk on cows I will breed till I get a two to one ratio which means that right there it was a three to one ratio meaning that i got three haystacks for the cost of one breed which thus in turn means that i can go ahead and i can harvest the next one if i really wanted to sometimes i'll breed until i have enough and then i'll just harvest the rest however sometimes i will just do a one to one and that's a little bit easier to keep track of now if i'm comparing xp like how to level up your farming of course i would say you know do the milk cow farming method and this way you're gonna get farming level out of it i'm not exactly sure how much xp you get from gathering for doing the mini game and if you need milk that much and you're burning through milk in massive quantities i would honestly say i would cook a lot to get those byproducts i would farm and i would also use energy on the milk mini game because then this way you're getting three kinds of streams of milk coming in but again if you need that much milk you might as well go all out because if you don't need that much milk then there's not really 
really a point in spending that much energy because the way I see it is that if you're spending all that energy on the mini milk game, where the heck is the rest of your, you know, your products coming from, right? You're not going to have any energy left over. Of course, you could say that you're, you know, splitting the energy cost and you're maybe using three alts for mini milk game. You're using three alts for gathering. That's cool. That's fine. That's, you know, min maxing. That's being efficient. Not everyone has 20 alts. And I think if you have that many alts, I think you're playing the game a little bit too seriously. It's like a job. And I would say just, you know, chill. And of course, you know, that's not saying everybody. I know quite a few of my friends that actually have like 10 alts and they've, they enjoy the game just as much as I enjoy the game. And I only have like four alts. I mean, I have more than four alts, but I don't use all them for gathering. They just kind of sit there. I know it hurts me inside to see that energy stack up for the past year, but hey, a thousand energy is a lot to go through. At the end of the day, if you want to do all three methods, go ahead, do the mini game, do the cow farming, and also get the byproducts for your milk. If you're okay with getting milk at a slow and steady pace, then just do byproducts from cooking and then also get them from the cow farms. And then of course, if you're that person that wants to just get, you know, a large sum of milk fast for the day, then you might as well just burn your energy and go to Ovion, you know, get the, the mini game going. I think both of those choices are very solid. Whichever one you choose, it's up to you. Play the game how you want to play it. I'm just letting you in on a little insight. As for farming cows, you're obviously wanting to know what is the average amount of milk that I get per energy here. It seems that on average, if I have 20 cows, I'm looking at about, you know, 10 breeds. So I only really get to harvest 10 of these haystacks. And I would say on average, I probably on the low side, I would say about 50 milk. It could be higher than 50 milk. Let's say 55 milk just to be safe. 55 multiplied by 10 haystacks, it's about 550 milk, and I spend about one energy per haystack. So really I'm spending 10 energy for 550 milk, but let's also factor in the other 10 haystacks that I had to breed. So I'm gonna say 20 energy just to be, you know, 100% sure that we factor in all the energy costs. So let's say 20 energy for 550 milk. So 550 divided by 20, you're looking at about 27.5 milk for one one single piece of energy and of course I'm going to reiterate this that's being generous and adding in that 10 extra energy to breed that's not actually harvesting for milk if I was solely harvesting for milk and factoring in only that energy it would be 550 divided by 10 which of course and that comes out to what we had previously which was 55 milk for one energy if I want to go one step further I can factor in the chance of getting a double proc which is normally two out of ten at that point I could say, let's say let's double. So let's add in another, um, let's say 100 milk on that. Instead of 550 milk, I would be getting 650 milk. And if I divided that by the original 20 energy spent for harvesting and breeding, that would be 32.5 milk per energy. Or if I divided that by 10, it would be 65 milk per one energy, which is pretty good. So with that being said, I will see you in the next life skilling video. Uh, it may not even be a life skilling video. I did put out a Musa PVP video uh, me fighting a Musa on Ninja. So if you want to go check that out and you do a little bit of PvP, then head on over there. If not, I will catch you in the next one. Stop this gravity. It keeps bringing me down.